Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a simple card, but the technique is how to uh, stamp on a um, cardboard. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got a piece of cardboard here that I had bought that on the roll and I've been having that forever and I use it once in a while. So I just really rip a piece because it was on top of my closet there and I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. I think the guitar look awesome on uh, this. So uh, let me show you how I did this. I'm going to turn those light on, try to eliminate some um, shadow. The stamp set, we're using two stamp set today. We're using the Country Living. And for my uh, Masculine Monday, be on the alert. I'm going to use this quite a bit, living in Texas. And then uh, before Wyoming, this uh, fit my... Um, style completely and it's on page 131 in the catalog so we're going to use just the guitar today and then the boots for the background but i know next week or the week after i'm going to have another video with the boots i got something in mind it's not done yet and for the happy birthday i wanted something big uh, bigger and i'm using a uh, better together the happy birthday in this set and this is on page 83 in the catalog. So um, we're just going to use two um, ink today. And the ink, it's the Tip Taupe and the Stays On. The color of the cardstock, it is Tip Taupe and uh, Design Your Siri Paper, the pattern uh, paper. That is the stack pack, uh, the in color of 2015-17. Uh, uh, so this one is the last here, but we still have a full here. Um, cardstock measure five and a half by eight and a half. Again, five and a half by eight and a half, score at four and a half, you get an A2 card. So let's do our stamping on the cork board. Um, stays on work wonderful on that other color going to work is just you want to sometimes uh, the regular ink want to bleed in so maybe it's going to bleed a little bit so i just going to stamp that right here make sure it's ink very well and give a good impression and what i mean by a good impression i keep it there a bit so really it go in the cork board voila I get even a better image this time than the first time. The more you do, the more you learn, I guess. Because you want it really to go inside that cork. If not, it's just stay on the surface and you don't get a good image. I like to do a little bit of coloring before I cut it out. I'm using the crumb cake here. Whoops. And uh, just do a little bit at where you see the line. That's like the shadow. I'm just going to do a little bit. And um, then the circle. I'm going to color around this here a bit. And then all around. And you can always use your aqua painter and blend that a little bit. But you don't have to. I'm going to do it just to show you. But I think just a little bit of marker. And I'm just going to here give a little bit of dimension there you can oops you can always use your aqua painter just make sure your brush it's wet this one at better days it's all need to uh, give her a little trim there and then you can blend this ear a bit see it's going to blend just like on paper but that's it's whatever that you prefer if you want to blend of course you can yeah, I have washed a little bit too much and then just let it dry and then you see you get a little bit of tone in your guitar. Now the cutting part that's the tricky part. So I'm going to cut this. I like to work with a smaller piece and what I mean by um, cutting it's the tricky part. It's the cardboard it's all like little chip in it whatever it is and so you don't want to you want to just cut a little bit turn this don't turn your scissors it's almost like what i show you to fussy cut just give a little bit and pull it up again and then keep on cutting when you're going to come at the corner here see you don't want to do if you do too much of a big snip it's going to rip a bit and you're going to have like 
see when it ripped you get all that funky thing there so you just want to do a little bit at a time and then when it comes to turn then see here I got it chop a bit so we're going to fix that I'm going to go under turn it very gentle it like if you get a straight line you can give a bigger snap but when you turn you just want a little bit at a time and this if this happened I don't know if you can see in the catalog just come on the side see the little piece and then I'm going to come here some some cord board um, cut better than other and sometimes to be honest it depends on the direction you're going here it just want to pull sideways so when i go this way don't go good if i go this way so it must be the way that the cord it's weaving it or whatever it is put together see sometimes it just want to and then i'm going to come here it's not art trust me it's not art it's just just be careful it's not something you can you know cut boom 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 you just have to TLC a little bit tender loving care a little bit and voila see and it's very smooth everywhere here I get rough a bit but that won't show see so now I get my guitar I think it look awesome on a cork board now for the card itself I did this very simple let me put this here I'm using the boot from the country living I'm using the tip top taupe uh, the same color than the uh, cardstock so I'm gonna stamp one stamp again uh, stamp one stamp again now I'm gonna stamp one there there and there now off in off in I and the reason why I go off and then back on the paper because the one that I cut stamp over here that it's off if I would come back it didn't because you get the little uh, whatever the dip here between the cardstock and the paper so then I would have the boot a uh, different tone whatever so I'm gonna go off and I just want a little bit now so you see twice it's just to give something in my background now for the greeting well first let's mount our card stop okay this the the side here this one here this it's two by four and this one it's one and three quarter by three and three quarter to be honest, I think it's too much of the black for the frame. So I went smaller for the frame. So what I done, I cut this one at 178 by 378. So it's just a line above the four or the two. So again, it's 178 by uh, 378. And it's the same on the black. It is um, a two by four going to put that right here so now I just going to have a little tiny border so we're going to be able to look at it side by side and decide which one we like the best so we're going to put that here over here one thing that I said I didn't do we're going to do though soon I'm done with this okay the happy birthday we're going to stand what stays on because that's what we get on for the guitar and I'm going to go just make sure it's inked very well. I think it's time to re-ink my uh, Stazon and give a good push. Oh, much better than my first one. I didn't have enough ink the first time. Now, how we're going to glue this, it's with glue dots. So what I done is I put about five glue dots in the back of the... And when you're going to go and get your glue dots there, make sure that you hold this good, that you don't tear it. You know, if I would go on the side. Here we go. See how gentle I was to pull it out? Especially the handle. Here we go. And I'm going to put that right here. 
and I think that is a dandy uh, loving card for a masculine. Now, remember I said, oh, inside, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put my boots and I still have place to write. Plus, I can put a different greeting inside uh, for birthdays. Here we go, my friend. This is it out to stamp on cork. See? You can tell, right? This one, uh, the guitar, see, I really kept my impression longer, and I think it does make a difference. So this is it, my friend, out stamp on cork. Hope I inspire you to do some stamping today. And for all your stamping up product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. I would love to do business with you. And uh, one more thing, see the difference between the two frames? So you decide which one you like best. Again, have a lovely day, my friend, and we will see you soon.